Good morning, everyone. It is the 5th of July. It's a Friday. This is episode 5 of 5 and it's sunny outside. And if you've ever wondered what's the difference between a buffalo and a bison, then you're going to find out right after this. Yes, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Friday. Yes, it is. Fantastic. I love Fridays. Fridays is my day off. Well, sort of. I'm still doing Steffi's show and all sorts of things like that. But there's no editing today, which is great. And if you're on YouTube, do hit the subscribe button. Oh, yes, please do. And then click the jingly jangly bell for ways to keep in touch with me. And obviously on Facebook, you can like me, you can love me, you can ha 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 me. And you can even occasionally wow me. But don't be sad or angry that I was two minutes late with the show because my microphone wasn't working have to have a microphone that works don't we or else there's no point in doing it I like my microphone here it is it's a little drop down one that's a studio you can't really see it very well but uh, it's fabulous it really is yes okay well what day is it Steffi what day is it well before I actually do anything about that I need to go over here I need to click this button here and do that one there and then click right there there's about five clicks I needed to do it's Independent Retailer Month. Yes, it is. The reason I'm I'm highlighting Independent Retailer Month is because there was not very many days that are liked. I could have had Mechanical Pencil Day. I could have had Bikini Day, but I don't look very good in a bikini these days. So I thought I'd go for Independent Retailer Month because I know an independent retailer. Yes, I do. Bar Bar Black Sheep down at Wolverton Square, in Square in Wolverton. They're an independent retailer. Why don't you go and buy your coffee there rather than go to Costa? Yes. Do you know why? Because if you go to Costa, you're helping a CEO buy a third home or a private jet. If you go to Bar Bar Back Sheep, you're helping the community. And that's why independent retailers are awesome. You should always work with an independent retailer wherever possible because they've got to put food on the table as well. They've got to buy shoes for their kids. They've got to help the community themselves. And if you spend all your money at Costa or the big chains, or even I suppose Amazon as well, although that is my favorite website in the whole wide world, then you're not helping anyone except the CEO. So independent retailers, think about who you know, who has what you want locally or independently and go and work with them, yes. It is all going by from them. So, yes, Independent Retailer Month. Yes, it is. And what's next? Oh, well, we have a birthday. <gasps> Look at that. It's birthday time. Yay. And it's for the lovely, lovely, lovely Anna Turney. Yes. Hello, Anna. Yes, Anna Turney is an amazing, inspirational human being. I think she's lovely. She's a Paralympian. She is. She um, damaged her back when she was skiing and now she skis Paralympian style. But she's also a speaker. She's done TEDx. She's she's just amazing. So happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Anna. Happy birthday to you. Yes. Stop singing, Steffi, please. For the love of God, stop singing. Happy birthday, Anna. And I'll look forward to seeing you at South, 4M Southam lunch uh, a week on Monday. Yes, I will. I'd look forward to having a one-to-one -one with you at our networking meeting. So Anna's just totally, totally inspirational. Um, how she got back up on skis again after, you know, that injury. It's like if I ever fell off a motorbike and got really injured, would I be able to get back on a motorbike again? <sighs> Don't know whether I would. Don't know whether I would. So it takes a hell of a lot of courage to do what, what Anna did. And um, she's amazing. She is absolutely amazeballs, Anna. You really are. Yes. Yes, you are. Right. So it's time for blog posts. It is time for blog posts. Yes. Blog post. Blog post number one is from the lovely and delightful Kirsty Paris. Yes. Blog dot Andromeda Consulting dot co dot UK. Um, Kirsty Paris is the most amazing business development marketing person I know. She calls herself a business therapist because she literally goes in and takes your business apart and goes, right, we can we can tweak this, we can tweak that, we can change that. But she doesn't just tell you what to do. She gets on and does it, which is the most amazing thing. That's the thing. She's working with a company at the moment and has made significant changes and improvements to the bottom line. 
Oh yes, she has. That's Kirsty for you. And today she's talking about what why stories are great for marketing. Yeah, well, we all know that stories are great. Everyone engages with a fairy tale. Everyone engages with, you know, a gripping bit of fiction or everyone engages with a really interesting piece of nonfiction. So when you're actually uh, writing blog posts, doing marketing materials, doing whatever, you should always write it as a story. Yes. And what is your story? Well, Kirsty knows. Going to have a look at blog. Oh, nearly dropped me vape. Blog.andromedaconsulting.co.uk find out why stories are great for marketing yes yes okay blog post number two blog post number two is from the black sheep collective yes here we go black sheep collective i'm going to scroll down scroll down oh two fantastic artists all um, part of the fenceless arts program and the first one is dawn and she's a guitarist hello dawn nice to meet you and she's talking about when you read down you know what she uh you know why she got into me into being music and stuff and then there's rosemary and she's a violinist there's pictures of her playing music uh, and that looks very much like she's in central milton Keynes near queen square which is quite nice hello rosemary so two fabulous artists who you may see out and about in Milton Keynes all thanks to the Venceless Art Program, Black Sheep Collective etc. So go and have a look at www.blacksheepcollective.co.uk and then click on my blog or our blog and then you'll be able to meet the artists Dawn and Rosemary. Yes you will, you will. In fact I might go down for a coffee later to Bar Bar Black Sheep because uh, yeah, why not? I think well, I'm going to pop down to Tesco, so I might drop in and say hello to my friends down there. Hello to Georgia and to Danny. Yes, very much so. Right, last blog push for the week. Last blog push of the entire week. It's from Cloud9 Spa. Yes, it is. Hello, Marlon and Richard and everybody up at Cloud9 Spa. Up at Pottersbury House, so uh, go up the A5D in Milton Keynes, just a little bit further and turn right into Pottersbury. There's this beautiful house, um, and Marlon and Richard own that, and they created Clown Line Spa, and they've got some summer special offers. Yes, they have. Look at this. Two great summer special offers running at Cloud Nine Spa, and one of them is an hour-long massage for just £55. Yes, a whole hour of being pummeled into blissfulness. How wonderful will that be? Great for stress, great for your skin, great for your circulation. So there's a special offer running at the moment for just £55. And if you don't want a massage, but you do fancy some eyelash extensions, then for, I think it's £45, yes, for full £45 for a full set, you can get your eyelashes done. Yeah, two great special offers running at the moment at Cloud9 Spa. Go and have a read at blog.cloud9spa.co.uk and you can read all about that. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Fabulous. Yes, absolutely fabulous. I'm so glad it's Friday. Yay, what am I doing today? Well, Fridays is, is my, well, sort of day off, isn't it? Yes. I've just remembered I haven't told you the joke. <laughs> I'll tell you in a minute. Friday is my sort of sort of pseudo day off. It's probably Friday afternoons and my day off more than anything. Um, because I've still got my publishing and sharing to do. I've still got the Steffi show to do in the morning. And also I have to do a network backup on a Friday. So there are things I need to do, but it is a case of I don't do any editing till Sunday, which is quite useful. So uh, I, I do have a more flexible day. Um, I've got some videos to upload for a client and I've got some more programming to do as well. So you know, I'm going to be a bit of a busy girl, but maybe not this afternoon because it is lovely and sunny. And I think I might actually go out for a walk. Yes. I've been so busy this week. I haven't actually been out for a walk this week. So I need to go out and just explore the fields and commune with nature yes very much so right okay so i completely forgot to tell you what the joke of the day is i'm going to tell you in a minute i am i'm going to tell you in a minute it's the fact of the day fact of the day yes it is and it's a food fact yes it is a food fact that's not the fact that i chose oh no that's not the fact that i chose right the fact that i chose was about breakfast and how in 1951 oh 
this is what happens when you have to reboot your computer just before you go on go live on the show right so the fact of the day is in fact about breakfast and in 1951 a breakfast company in the usa wanted to sell more cereal yeah so what they did is they put a marketing program together and said breakfast is the most important meal of the day yeah and everybody believed it and they sold a lot more cereal and everybody still believes it yes i don't have breakfast i have brunch i do i tend to have something i don't get hungry till normally about 11 o'clock so i tend to um you know eat then maybe sort of a you know an omelette or some salad or stuff like that so you know breakfast being the most important meal of the day not quite true there's rumors that you uh you should was it breakfast like a king and lunch like a prince and evening dining like a pauper or something well you know are all these myths are all these real i don't know whatever works for you if you like breakfast if you're hungry in the mornings have breakfast oh who am i to tell you otherwise but the original story about breakfast being the most important meal of the day was a marketing scheme yes it was yes mm. there you go all right then so youtube hit the subscribe button click the jingly jangly bell yes and then if you're on facebook like me love me ha 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 me occasionally wear me you can sad or angry me because i haven't told you what the joke of the day is yet or oh, i'm giving the punchline anyway but i have remembered that's the cool thing about it so we have had independent retailer month yes only because there was no day available that i liked i didn't particularly like pictures of bikinis because i don't look good in bikinis um so we had independent retailer month don't forget if you if you know of a small shop locally go and buy from them don't buy from a chain because the ceo is the one who makes the benefits not the independent retailer and they're going to put food on the table so independent retailer month then we had a Ferrati birthday the lovely Anna Turney hello Anna um, and happy birthday to you my dear and I will see you next week then three fabulous blog posts Kirsty Paris at blog.andromedaconsulting.co.uk talking about stories in marketing and then we had uh, Black Sheep Collective well slash Fences Art so www.blacksheepcollective.co.uk introducing us to Dawn and to Rosemary two very talented local musicians and then last but lastly but by no means leastly cloud9spa.co.uk blog.cloud9spa.co.uk two fabulous special offers an hour-long massage for 55 pounds and complete eyelash extensions for 45 pounds yes then i screwed it all up because the fact of the day wasn't the fact of the day that i wanted because it was all about breakfast now it was a marketing plan yes right that was our mistake for the week yes i always have a, at least one mistake in the week thankfully it was on friday thankfully it was towards the end of the show and if you've ever wondered what the difference between a buffalo and a bison is you can't wash your hands in a buffalo thank you have a fantastic weekend have an awesome day have a fantastic weekend and if i haven't been committed to the loony bin i will be back on monday with another set of steffi shows for you take care